How's it going? Dylan Gallagher here. Sometimes in business, you just gotta know when to make a tough call. And if you are like me and follow anything to do with business or entrepreneurs or small business or anything like that, you couldn't have helped but seen probably no short of a thousand articles on the Uber CEO, Travis Kalanick, who has resigned. Now, you might be going, Dylan, I, who cares? What could this possibly have to do with my business? Well, I'm of the opinion that making tough calls, really, really tough. When you're the one making the calls and you have to make a tough call against yourself, even tougher. But I do believe there's a lesson in what's going on with Uber and Travis and that all of us can benefit from. And so here's the quick backstory. Uber, massively successful company, like $70 billion valuation or something like that. And, and uh, ride sharing, so you know, built an app, click a button, car shows up, you go to your thing. You know, it's it, it, a, whole, a whole new economy has started because of the work of Uber and others, but Uber certainly was a major contributor. And its CEO, Travis, is the one to thank for that. The, the, the type of individual that could drive that kind of growth that fast in a short period of time um, had to do with his personality. But for every pro, there's a con. And with Travis, the con seemed to be that he just lacked the business acumen that uh, an organization as large and as valuable as Uber needed. So, you know, made a, just a series of bad decisions, was constantly in the news for the bad decisions that uh, he allowed his uh, executive team to make. Um, you know, you can go to the internet and you can find it all. I won't, I won't regurgitate it here. But the point is, made a lot of bad decisions. But ultimately, a couple of his investors wrote him a note as he was uh, agreeing to take a leave of absence from the company because he realized that the pressure had gotten to be too much and he needed to make a major, major change. And he thought maybe just stepping away from the company for an undetermined amount of time would work. But the investors thought otherwise. Some of his biggest investors came to him personally, spent some time with him and said, look, you need to resign. You need to get out of here. And he did it. And that's a tough call. And that's a tough call when you're the one making the tough call against yourself. And as entrepreneurs, as business owners, sometimes I think we can procrastinate against making tough calls because they're tough and they suck. And none of us want to do it. But in this case, there's obviously a lot of people that depend upon the work that Travis does. And so if he's doing bad work, it means employees get affected, it means customers get affected. If you're running your own business and you shouldn't be, or there are things you're doing that you shouldn't be doing that other people would be more qualified and capable to do, then you owe it to everybody else to get it done. Otherwise, your company will just stagnate and maybe it'll hang on, maybe it'll keep humping along, but ultimately it's not gonna get to where it needs to be because you're not prepared to make the tough call against yourself. And so as I <clears throat> was reading just this constant stream of headlines coming in about Uber, Uber and Travis, it just seemed obvious to me that I could grab a little nugget out of that and regurgitate it back uh, here for you to take a look at. And if you've gotta make that tough call, it's better to make it than to not. And yeah, there's a lot of collateral damage and, and yes, there's a lot of things that happen, but you know what? That moment passes and people move on, businesses move on, but your staff will be happier for those types of tough calls that you've made. Your customers ultimately are gonna be happier, although they may not be in the short term. And if your business is in a moment where you just need the help, get the help, get the help. Even if that means that you've got to step back and keep your ego and your pride in check, because that could be tough to do. The truth is it takes more courage um, and more genius to make a tough call against yourself than it does to just keep fooling yourself into thinking that you can get the job done. So, a little bit of tough love here and uh, hopefully it resonates with you. And as we get to the end of the week, I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. So anyway, sometimes you gotta make a tough call. Uh, subscribe here somewhere. There's a button that you can subscribe to make sure you catch this every day. And um, you know, let's connect on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. Or I'm in all those spaces. Great to hear from you, and uh, again, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.